Alright YouTube, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So let's get right into these beautiful questions. Iron Cholo asks, can I say the letters M or B without touching my lips? Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. I'm close. Um, I can't. Let's try B. B, 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 B. Uh, uh, B, B, B. Jamire Physics asked, how was Aix as a teammate, to be honest? Well, I think he was a pretty good teammate. He knew how to win. His strats were pretty much on point. He was very uh, intelligent when it came to winning and when it came to, like, you know, helping the team win. But sometimes I felt like he was really inconsistent, especially in the slaying department, just getting kills. So it kind of held us back, you know? SD Clutch King asked, would I rather shit a brick or piss a golf ball? <laughs> wow. Uh... I guess I'll go with shit or brick, just because the, the hole can expand more. Pissing a golf ball, I, I think I'll probably die from that. At Mac Daddy T asked me, what's it feel like to be one of the best gamers in the world? One, it's amazing to know that I practice hard every day. You know, I grind, I, I try my best to win, and it's paying off. I see a lot of improvement. I see that I'm playing better now. I see that I understand the game a lot more, whether it's spawns, uh, setups, stuff like that. And I'm very happy within myself, you know. Uh, I play a lot and it just sh it's showing so definitely in a good mood about that. Havoc Overdose asked me, do I see unicorn on Trek for grapes? Yes, grapes are good and unicorn tastes better. At Vel Shots asked me, if I could be on any Call of Duty team, which one would it be? Uh, definitely Optic just because of their brand and the type of team they have now, the great players. So I would have to go with Optic. Z Allen asked me, opinions on Pac-Man? Well. I think he's pretty good, but he might need to hang it up, you know. He's been playing for a long time now. He hasn't seen too much success recently. He just needs to grind his ass off more than any player in the game, or he needs to think something about something, something else. I love the guy, but you know, it just the homie, the homie could be doing better. I have faith in him. JJ Dynamo asked me who's my favorite pro player to team with. I'm gonna have to go with Sharp. Great attitude, funny guy, great leader, and he's a good player, so I had a hell of a time teaming with him. Maybe one day we shall team again. Zuma asked me thoughts on me, so um, I think you're a great player. I think uh, you definitely have a lot of skill. You guys could play a little better, but overall, you're a great guy. You're a good, you're a good, you're a good lad, and you know you got some fresh ass hair now. I love it. And I think you're, you know, you're awesome. Just keep playing more, practice with your team. I know you guys will go far. I believe in you. At Franzi asked me, do I feel any gratitude or satisfaction now that FaZe lost to Denial? To be honest, I don't. I really wanted FaZe to win. I know a lot of you guys thought that I hate Aix and, oh, I, I, you know, I want, I don't want them to win and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm over it. It was a little thing going on for a couple days, but, you know, I decided to move on, you know, uh, just focus on myself and champs. But I really wish FaZe would have won. I did in my predictions said FaZe would be placing at least top two. But sadly they couldn't. You know, at the end of the day, FaZe are family. As much as I hate Aix, at least I used to. I don't really care anymore because he's not on my team. So I don't really have to deal with any of his uh, bullshit. But, you know, it's whatever, man. I wish they would have I wish they would have won the event, you know, that I still support them, they're still family. I still have love for them, so I wish they just would have won. And Fonzie asked me, favorite G Fuel flavor and God Squad. Favorite G Fuel flavor right now has to be great. So good. Like, delicious. And God Squad will be me, Formal, Scrim, and Skunk. Corby asked me to impersonate Ricky. <laughs> Yo, Ambrose, did you see that kill? <laughs> I suck at it, I, I can't man. You gotta leave that to embos and freaking like methods or something. And this trader asked me, how are you still teaming with Doug No Thumbs Martin? Well, I mean, here you go. Russia has gone down, that's Nature with a kill. Three versus three, time is ticking. Oh, Sensa! He just got a kill up, but we're by a second! Sensa, unbelievable play! Valley's Nature, one on three. He's gonna get the kill though. 29 seconds left. Bomb down, can he stay alive? Faith your now! Faith win the championship! Sensa, an unbelievable play! At the end of the day, I believe in the guy. I have faith in him. He might not play the best sometimes, he might not do the best. 
but I know he has a lot of potential. He has he is a great leader, and you know he's been my teammate for a while. He could be annoying at times, but definitely someone that I see myself teaming for at least a little bit more while. <laughs> Ariela Size asked me, "Are you an illegal immigrant?" Por qué tú hablas así conmigo? Tú no sabes, yo no soy eso, oye, bro, es serio, pero yo no entiendo. ¿Por qué tú quieres hablar así conmigo? Porque yo no quiero que te pique pica que gallo, chico. No, sir, I am not. I was born and raised in the United States of America. Slimman Akim asked me, what's my biggest fear? A lot of us are scared of heights, uh, spiders, insects, all that stuff. But really, in reality, my biggest fear is what you guys are about to read right now. Ian R. Snap asked me, what is my favorite movie of all time? Well, you see, I'm the type of person that likes almost every single movie, as long as it's decent, good action, good story, blah, blah, blah. But a movie I really enjoyed and I loved was 300. So, I always, usually when someone asks me, I just say 300 because it's an awesome movie. I love Spartans. I love all that ah, slow motion. Ah, and, like spears and shit. I watched the ads, does Doug Sensor Martin need you? He does guys, he really does. Without me, he would probably place like top six every event. I take him to the next level, that's my job. My job is to carry Doug Sensor Martin, I do it every day. Trust me. Exposed Aspects asked me who will win season one playoffs. It's gonna be Optic. They're the most prepared team right now, most skilled. I think when it comes regional time, uh, maybe three or four teams could take first place. But I'm really leaning out for a topic right now. Gemini asked me most annoying teammate, excluding Parasite. I'm gonna have to go with Sensor when it comes to in game sometimes. But if if you exclude Sensor as well, it would definitely have to be Aches, man. He could be really annoying sometimes, especially when he gets on late, he never gets on, stuff like that. It's just so frustrating. Optic James asked me, would you read this? Ooh. Say, ooh. Alright, let's skip that question. Ask me, if I could drink one flavor G Fuel throughout my whole life, what would it be? I'm gonna have to go with Great. Where, where's it at? Hold on, guys. Hold on. Great. It's freaking amazing. I've I've drank the, this the past like four or five days. Obviously, you know, I took a break yesterday and drank Peach Mango because that's my second favorite. But Grape is honestly just so good. Like, I literally feel like I'm drinking grape juice. But better and it's like it's healthy for you it energizes you man a plus at Dizzy EU asked me how do you manage balancing with friends gaming and girlfriend and family all stuff well it's not easy I'll tell you that I am very busy person there's times when my friends are like oh you want to go I'll be like I can't today sorry and I really try to keep my schedule I'm a very uh, organized person with especially when it comes to my schedule I'd be like all right so I wake up at 10 streaming from 10 to 1 1 I go to the gym come back at 2 30 like 2 30 I have to eat shower uh, maybe chill with my girlfriend for an hour 6 o'clock I have to be on again for the team start screaming so like I'm very organized when it comes to that I know I really you have to it also comes a lot to sacrificing and priority with gaming like a lot of you know gaming comes first in most situations especially if it's uh, 2k's 5k's tournaments you know all that stuff events so it's kind of hard I'm not gonna lie living this gaming life could be sometimes kind of hard very time-consuming but at the end of the day it's how bad you want it do you want to become successful do you want it all do you want to be the best player in the game do you want to be the best team like if you need this if this is your full-time job what it is for which it is for mine right now you know, it's it's mainly priority, but I do still try to manage time and find time to, to chill with my friends. Cause you know, I, I love hanging out with my friends to go out with Maria. We just went out yesterday for a couple hours. So there's days where maybe I don't stream early and I sacrifice streaming early to spend more time with Maria and stuff like that. It comes down to sacrificing a lot and just choosing your priority at certain days. C Black Eleven asked me favorite game mode ever on Call of Duty. I would have to go with Hardpoint. I love Hardpoint, fast pace. Uh, you know. Objective base, a lot of slang, a lot of kills, very well all around this game type, very skill based. I love it. I grabbed the one FPS asking me why is your shot so dominant? Well my shot's probably so dominant because one I play a lot. When you when you tend to play a lot, you know, 
your shot just becomes crisp, becomes clean and just laser. Two, I use dome sticks. I love dome sticks. I feel like they help my shot a little bit more than what Xbox sticks used to do. Obviously, with Xbox sticks, I, f I still had an amazing shot, but with dome sticks, it's not just, just raises that level a little bit more. And three, I don't know, I guess I was blessed by good genes and gods with good shot and reaction time, blah, blah, blah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A video. It was a fast, well not very fast, kind of slightly shortly long. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it interesting and loving. If you really would like me to do another episode or another Q&A, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Leave a like for sure. However, I want to say one more thing. I really appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, you know, it just, it's amazing to have such a support and a whole bunch of people just behind me and I really love the feeling so thank you guys for watching hope you loved the video don't forget to like comment subscribe once again this has been your boy apathy and I'm out a lot of hand movement but don't worry about that